Let me address this important question. For anybody here who needs or chooses to build muscle mass after you're done, and again, first of all, my recommendation would be to allow your body to, to create or recreate what's healthy for your frame, mm -hmm. rather than trying to build, you know, overbuild. Because mm -hmm. that's not healthy and will shorten your life, okay? But build a healthy muscle mass. The, the, the very best way to do this, it's really simple and the, the science is clear about this. So first of all, most, well, all of you, at the end of your refeeding process here, will be eating four meals a day. Now those, I say all of you, those of you that are fasting long enough, if you're fasting for 40, 42 days or more, and you're gonna be here for 21 days refeeding, it's entirely possible that by the, toward the, the late part of the refeeding process, you might be ready to go down to three meals. You're gonna go from the four meals, you're gonna eat most of you at the end of your feeding process here. When you get home, you might wanna to go to three meals, okay? And eventually to two. Ideally, the, what you wanna do is listen to your body. When you get to the point that you can go to two meals, I highly recommend it. The idea is to get all of your food into your body in the smallest window possible, right? Four hours. I mean, some people eat one meal a day every day. You know, it's funny, we ask people what their current diet is and people say one meal a day. I'm like, that's not a diet, that's a schedule. Are, are you eating nothing but Pop-Tarts? Are you eating nothing but apples? It could be anything, right? That doesn't tell me any, very much. That tells me when you're eating, not what you're eating. Some people do this. Now, there, there's, a, there's a video that's gotten uh, you know, millions of views now, I think. The vegan strongman eats one meal a day. But he's not eating one meal a day. He's eating like three meals a day, one right after the other. He's eating a ton of calories, and he has like this whole thing, and then he waits like five minutes, 10 minutes, eats a whole nother meal. Personally, I believe we're much better off not forcing the body to overwork at one time. This is why what I've settled on, for me, what works best is rather than trying to pack in a whole day's worth of calories, some days I'm gonna do better if I eat a meal, wait a few hours only, and then eat again. After a few hours, I can eat again. I don't need to wait eight hours. I can eat two of those two meals in a, in a four hour window. And that means my body's got 20 hours a day where it's not having to process food, okay? 20 hours a day where it's able to cleanse and heal. And there's now plenty of science that shows this is beneficial to us. Everyone, I believe, should be doing this if they're able to. Now, coming to the question, in case you thought I forgot what it was. Um, when you want to work out is just before your first meal of the day. So in my case, my first meal of the day is usually between two and three in the afternoon. That's my breakfast, okay? If I could, and what often happens is I'm here with you guys until two or 2.30 or three, and then if I've got to go to the bank, I've got a few minutes to eat something before I get out of here. I can't really work out that most days. So I may do what I do in the morning. But if I was trying to build as much muscle mass as I could, I'd figure out how to set it up where I'd work out just before that first meal. Why then? Because your human growth hormone is highest just in the, the latest into the fast possible, up to 20 hours. Okay, it's going, it's gonna go higher and higher. Now if you go beyond about 20 hours, you're starting to break down muscle for fuel. I mean, you can go a, a whole day if you wanna eat one meal a day. If that works for you, you can do that. Most people are gonna have a hard time getting enough calories though, if you do that. But if you wanna eat one meal a day, you can, you can still work out just before the first, you know, that one meal. But it should be before your first meal because that's when you're gonna have the most human growth hormone in your bloodstream, which means fastest muscle growth. Okay? How bad would it be to just like have like, a, like some pieces of orange or like a watermelon before you worked out? Would that really negate a lot of the- It would. Benefits? As soon as you eat anything, you're changing the chemistry. Yeah, but why would you do that anyway? Uh, are you hang on? Are you imagining that you need the, the fuel to work out? Um, I was just you know just curious. Okay. I mean, because let me let me remind everybody. I mean, 
Most of us grew up believing, and some of you have already heard me talk about this, most, most of us grew up believing that we run on food. We don't run on food. We run on microelectric current. I don't need to eat to have electricity. I create the electricity while I'm sleeping. Now my body uses food as a fuel to make the electricity. But my batteries are recharged. If I never eat anything today, I've got all the energy I need. I don't need to eat today to have energy today. But that's different than your experience, some of you. Some of you have found that if you don't eat, your energy, it's not the lack of food. When you don't eat, your body begins to detoxify, okay? That's why you feel weak and tired and overall, for some of you, bad. It's not because you're not eating, it's because you're detoxifying. If your body was already clean, let me say it this way, right? Let's be optimistic. When your body is truly clean, for some of you, it could be by the time you're done here, for most of you, it might be by the time you've done your second or third or fourth fast, but by the time your body's truly clean, you'll fast and feel perfectly fine. There won't be any negative symptoms, okay? So just remember that we don't, we don't need the fuel to be able to feel okay now. We need the fuel to create the energy for tomorrow and beyond. I mean, even if I don't eat tomorrow, I still have fuel because my body's gonna do what? It's gonna consume some of its own tissue to make that fuel, to, to, to be the fuel to make the electricity. The reason people feel bad when they fast isn't the lack of food. It's the fact that they're detoxifying, okay? Some people argue that when you, when you do work out, you, you increase your human growth hormones and other hormonal factors even more, and so it's a good idea to wait a couple hours to, to ride that out so that, that because as soon as you eat, you know, your human growth hormones plummet. Um, and to sustain that window where those, those numbers are super elevated, what do you think about that? Do you think it's better to free feed right away? Uh, my, my guess is it probably doesn't make much difference because if you, if you wait, uh, if you, it, let's say you're, you're eating two meals a day, okay? If you go earlier, you've got less human growth hormone in your bloodstream and then you elevate it by exercising, and then you wait to eat. And if you go, if you wait until you work out until just before the meal, you've got more in your bloodstream, and then you eat and it goes down. I, I doubt it's gonna make any significant difference. Again, especially if what you wanna do is maximize growth, most people would be better off doing less rather than more. The idea is intense activity, but not that often. Because if you're doing heavy upper body workouts every two or three days, those muscles never have time to completely heal. And the growth happens not while we're working, but while we're resting afterward, okay? So most of you could probably do once a week or once maybe once every five days you could re work really hard, upper body, work really hard, the lower body a different day, that'd be enough. <clears throat> right, be, it would wind up being what? Maybe six times a month or less, something like that. Is that clear to everybody? Okay, the, the key is to work it hard, but then give it plenty of time to recover. Okay, if the idea is to maximize growth. So you, you could do like upper body, and then do like, and wait three days, do lower body, and then... Wait three days, do upper body again. Something like that, yeah. Now, I mean, if you just wanna be fit and healthy, and you don't care about maximizing growth, you can work out every single day. But you don't really need to. I mean, you could do 15 to 20 minutes, three, four times a week. If you do that consistently, you'll be amazed by what happens, assuming what you're doing is effective. Hi, enjoying my videos? If you'd like to learn much more, check out the Academy for Vibrant Living, where our Vibrant Health course will teach you everything you need to know to take your health to an amazing new level. And if you'd like to turn your passion for health into a lucrative career, check out the Health Coaching course, where you can become a professional certified health coach and help as many people as possible see amazing results.